Hey guys, a follow up video from the anonymous 911 call video from yesterday. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and visit that video or you can keep listening because I'm actually going to play it on here for you. We have voiceovers. So a lot of people are speculating that it's true crime re. I mean, she did insert herself in the case from the very beginning, giving him an outlet, JP, an outlet to defend himself. But why is she so invested in this guy? Why is she so invested that she does a panicked 911 call about his welfare? I'm going to play her voice from a live video and you can compare it to the 911 call. He goes there and he called me crying when he left. He said, do you want to know what they did for me? And I'm like, what? And are you okay? Like, is everything okay? He's like, yes. They made me a handmade wooden box with the rest of Micah's ashes in it because the family told them to throw them out. This is Ariel. How can I help you? Hi, Aria. Um, I noticed some things online and have been trying to reach. Um, would you be able to do a well check? Um, he's not responding by phone and he's supposed to be awake and out the okay. church. What's the address? Um, they told me that you would have it. Okay, you don't know his address? I mean, it's all over online. It's unclear. all I know. Okay, what is your name? Do I have to give it? I mean, you can I'll remain anonymous, to, but... but... I mean, in paperwork, I would like for that to be anonymous. What's the phone number you're calling from? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Okay, so um, I've been in contact with him you know, multiple times a day and um, found information online that um, motorcycle gang and people were going to be at the protest this morning and they were going to put a he showed up. So that information was given to Myrtle Beach, but he's not answering his phone um, and he's supposed to be up and at the church. So I don't know if And he didn't okay. show up at the church? I don't think so. So you don't know if he did? No. No. I just know, like, he would have picked up the phone. He never has not picked up a phone call. And there's multiple people trying to reach him. Okay, I need to get his description, starting with his race, please. Um, it's... it's do you have that in your Okay, I'm still, re I, I understand that it's a thing, but I'm still required to ask. Okay. About how old is he? Um, 45. Okay. Does he have any physical, medical, or mental conditions that we need to be aware of? Not that I'm aware of. Does anyone have access to any weapons? I don't know. Does anyone have a key or can the home be unlocked remotely? Um, I think you'd have to have a key. I'm going to put you on speaker just in case he calls or texts or something. I don't want you to waste a trip there. Okay, nothing so far. Okay, try to locate him with checking with his friends, neighbors, doctor, and hospitals. An officer will be dispatched as soon as possible. Are, are you wanting follow-up or? Um, if you could, please just let me know that he's safe and okay. Okay. And do you have his phone number in case the officers yeah. need to try to call it? I do. Um, let me give it to you. It is... Okay. Do you have any other information that, you, that we need to notate? No, just I feel like he may be in danger because of um, the motorcycle group. Okay. And have you checked with the, do you have a way of checking with the church? Well, we, there's 
people there live and nobody's seen them yet. Um, I don't know if that matters, but um, there's also a trailer blocking like one of the entrances. So it's possible somebody would maybe not have seen him, but um, highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, now the server will be dispatched as soon as possible. Just call us back if anything changes or you have any further information or, of course, if you hear from them, okay? Okay, most definitely. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Okay, hi. That's definitely her. But what also makes this so interesting is the fact that her words sound just like Micah. The way she pauses, the way she expresses, sounds just like Micah's call from Lumber River State Park. Now, Veronica the Jokester tagged me in this. Um, I wanna play it because I think it's a very good video and it's exactly what I heard the first time I listened to that 911 call. Hi, Aria. Um, I know. Hi, um, hi, Aria. Um, I, hi, um, hi, Aria. Um, I, hi, um, are you, hi, Aria. Um, I, hi, um, are you able to trace the location of my phone? Um, I'm about to, um, if you could please yourself and I just want my family to know where to, um, I think you don't. Um, if you could please sure. just live, live and nobody's seen them yet. Um. So if anyone else got chills after listening to that call, let me know in the comments because that's exactly what I heard the very first time I listened to those 911 calls and compared them. Exactly what I heard. It's pretty insane. Now, I'm not accusing anyone of doing anything, of making those calls. This is all speculation. This is just comparing. And I wanna know if you guys hear the same thing that a lot of us are hearing. And a very logical question still stands. Why is True Crime Re going so far for a guy she doesn't even know? Hmm.